Hey there guys, welcome back to the RC Garage. Today just a little unboxing video. I'm not feeling real well. You'll probably hear me cough a couple times through this video. But I wanted to put something out this week. So what we're going to do is go through these packages I've gotten. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know what some of this stuff is. We're going to go through all these packages. Kind of give you an idea of what I'm going to go for on this build. All this stuff here is for the SCX-10 Harley Quinn build. Except for a couple items I had to pick up for my girlfriend's Walking Dead SCX-10. Again, if you're following me on Instagram, you'll see pictures of that. We were at the Crawl Fest the other weekend. Took a bunch of pictures. Uh, she did really good. It's her first build. She did all the work herself. I helped her lay out the body decals. But other than that, she did everything herself. Turned out really good. We did have to pick up a couple extra things just to finish her build up. Like the two position channel winch controller from Hey OK. Alright, so enough about the builds. Let's get into the packages and show you what we have. First off, the little handle. I'm going to be using Locked Up RC Scale Hardware for these wheels. And I needed the, the smallest little nut driver they offer for the uh, Scale Hardware. Now, let's get zoomed in and we'll get into this wheel package. What I decided to go with on this build is the Vanquish Products beadlock wheels. I uh, decided to go with the OMF style because they're a modular wheel. You can buy different pieces, different colors. So it really benefits. This rig will really benefit from that. Now I got two red rear rings. I got two of the black rear rings. as well as two two black front rings and two red front rings. Now the other package is more Vanquish wheel stuff. I just got four of the inner clamping rings. They're all the same color. You're not going to see this so it doesn't really matter. I got We got a set of their 225 SLW hubs in black. I really didn't want the wheels to be sticking out too far from the body, so I wanted to keep it kind of close. So I figured the 225s would be good. If these don't work out, I did get a set of the, the next size up. I believe, what is this, the 325. So we'll see which ones I like more. And as for the rings, we went into the spider lock rings. Again, I got two in black and two in red. Now the next package I got is from Locked Up RC. I can't say enough good things about this company. They're an awesome company. Uh, great customer service. When I made the order, their website said they had enough of a specific item. So I ordered all of them. I needed eight of these D-rings. I was going to get the black mini Kong ones. Just because they were black and it looked a little better on the rigs. Well, when they went to package my order, they realized they didn't have eight. So they gave me a call. Told me they could replace it with these. So I got a bunch of these. I also got, I picked up a set of the 440 Acorn nuts. So that way I can bolt the hubs onto the wheels and it still looked realistic. Got enough of the scale zinc hardware for the beadlock rings to do all four wheels so that way it looks more realistic. And like I said, I got a bunch of these D rings. Next week I'll start putting all these together. I haven't really met in mind what tire I want to use. I do have these 1.9 TSL XX swampers. Uh, I might be running in these, or I might just stick with the, or I might just be sticking with the stock uh, axial Falcon tires. I really like the way these work. They've held up real nice, and they perform real good. Well, I'll chuckle ahead and leave me a comment which tire you recommend for the SCX-10 2 build. Well, that's going to be it for today, guys. 
really don't feel good. It's going to be a short video. Thank you for joining me. And like always, if you like this video, hit that like button. It really helps out the channel a lot. If you haven't already, then please subscribe. And you can join me back here every Friday for more RC fun at the RC Garage. See you guys next time.